what's going on jrpg fanatics and you know good night final fantasy lovers at least so we see final fantasy rebirth patch 1.020 at sharp and soft 60 frames per second modes for people who want a better 60 fps mode man that's quick look how quick they did that so square enix released the patch right now on playstation 5 you can download it i already got it according to geomatsu's translation of the patch notes which means that it was in japanese and it came into english it improves the PlayStation 5's exclusive graphics frame rate and adds sharp and soft 60 frames per second modes. Elsewhere, the patch also adds difficulty settings for certain mini games because a lot of people are getting annoyed with that. Uh, so I think that's very cool that they're doing that already. It fixes various bugs and performance issues. Earlier this month, Rebirth director Naoki Hamaguchi um, said one of the main pieces of players' feedback for Square. Uh, that they received was revolved around graphics and performance mode. People were complaining about that, which prioritizes a consistent frame rate. We received a lot of feedback on whether the graphics and the performance mode will be improved or not. Amaguchi said, we hear you and we are certainly working on the update patch to improve that aspect. I don't think the release date would be far from now. And this is the stuff that was going on earlier. We don't need to get into too much details on that, but Basically, in performance mode, certain people were complaining about, you know, a lot of things, and then I hit in 60, and then, you know, they didn't like the way that the visual fidelity was, so they had to work on that. Amaguchi added that the patch would focus on the lighting and character faces in certain parts of Rebirth. We've heard from players that in certain situations, the facial lighting makes some characters' shadows look very scary. So that's the part of the update that we're working on. Yeah, the hyper-detailed, hyper over-focused uh, stares. It's like when you're playing the game, you know, you're... In, <laughs> You're going through so much, you're not going to notice that. But people are sitting there just on a form, staring at a screenshot, you know. Oh my god, can you please fix that? And, oh, you know, I, I just, I don't like the way this looks. And, you know, to me, I just think it's ridiculous. But, you know, it's cool that they're taking that into consideration. You know, looking from, like, you know, all angles. Uh, but let's go down to the patch notes. So they fixed typos and omissions in some text. Fixed a bug that occurred on the map under certain conditions when controlling the character. Fixed a bug in battle in which 13's abilities, Lunatic High and Watcher Spirit, could easily be canceled. You know what? I think that was an issue. Fixed a bug in battle in which enemies would stop moving under certain conditions. Fixed a progress bug that occurred during quest under certain conditions. Improved front frame rate and overall game stability, which is always good. We just talked about that. Added sharp and soft options to the performance mode. Remember, guys, this is in performance mode. I did straight graphics. I didn't care. I don't notice that it's 30, you know. Um, improved the graphics quality, which is always good. The camera's reverse setting is now applied when controlling a gliding chocobo. The camera's reverse setting is now applied to the sharpshooting minigame camera. Enhanced guidance support while climbing the ivory in the mythal mine location. <laughs> I know some people that probably got stuck on that and it can be a little bit confusing. Added difficulty settings to the customization screens for the mini games Fort Condor and Gears and Gambits. Um, I, you know, guys, some of those I did guides on on my channel, so you can probably look through that. Definitely Queen's Blood. And I'm going to finish off the rest of that. I just got busy with a lot of other stuff and there's just a lot of stuff going on. But this is basically what this is. And there's going to be more patches on the way, so I just wanted to get this out ahead for you guys. Uh, if you guys like this, you know, go ahead and hit that sub button. I'll be covering all JRPG games in the future. I'm doing Dragon's Dogma tonight, and I'll be doing a bunch of other genres. And uh, this channel is definitely not going anywhere, and it's going to be growing, and I'm looking forward to making it more epic. So hopefully this helps you guys have a good morning, good night, wherever you are around the world. And uh, that's it. Peace out, guys. Good luck out there.